Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to use Home Assistant with the TV. Now we will integrate the TV to Home Assistant. You can see here I have also have a Zigbee sensor. But in this video, I will show you the most important that the TV can have the notification, uh, push a message, uh, such as you can see. I can, you can see I can use this click, one click. So that is push a message just when you're watching the TV. So you will note uh, someone is coming. And also I can click three times and uh, turn on the TV. One, two, three. Okay, you can see the TV is on. So this video, I will show you how to integrate the TV and how to use the automation and for the push button and automation for crunching your TV by yourself in Home Assistant. Okay, let's look at the Home Assistant dashboard. You can see I have used a Sony TV. I have checked the Home Assistant integration that supports Sony. Brave TV. So how to integrate the Sony TV is very easy, but also you can use many different brand TV. So you just you can see I can click setting and the device and add integration. And I just input Sony and you can see this is Sony TV. You just click and the host is the IP address of your TV. So you can check your load and what is the IP address in your TV. So just input this and submit and you will find uh, you will have a Sony TV at here. That is my TV. So you can configure it and add it to the dashboard. So you have see that this dashboard. I can turn off the TV and also I can turn on the TV. And also you can see here is a menu that can change you can see the volume is up and the volume is is down also you can change this is source a video source hdmi 1 2 3 4 and some application uh, you can use uh, by this app so you can see i can click you can see the tv is working and the pause just click this button and also I can click on and pause and you can see here is the mobile phone also you can use your mobile phone to country the TV uh, just play and pause and also I can turn off the TV so this is by home assistant application in mobile phone turn on the TV and the state will update with the PC software. Okay, this is integrate the TV to Home Assistant is very easy. But if you want notification for the TV, so we can see here is Home Assistant uh, how to read how it. That support Android TV and the Fire TV. The Android TV now is mostly used. Many TV now is have Android system inside. So that will be very easy to integrate uh, for the notification. So you can just install this notification for Android TV APK file. You can click. And you can let your TV download this application from the Google Play. Or you can use the Google search this application, download the APK file, and install on your disk SD card and insert to your TV. So after you install the software we can say we i use the remote go to the back of the tv and you can see here is my application here is notification just this is installed firstly and we can click and this is a notification uh, application so that you can see the message uh, the history And you can see uh, information is the version and uh, license info. And uh, the important is you can see here is setup details that will display list your IP address of your TV. 
So we will use this IP address fill in the Home Assistant later. Okay, now you can see we have installed the notification for Android TV. Now the next step is install the notification for Android TV on your Home Assistant. That is also very easy, just the two steps. The one step we have complete. And the next step, we just click setting and the device. And you can click at the end quality. And we can input note that is notification for Android and TV and for Fry TV. And now you can see here the host, we just import the one IP address that displayed on your TV. So you just submit and after submit and you can go to this developer toys uh, to test. You can see I can click on service and import TV and you, you will see the notify Android TV, Fire TV that we have installed. So you can click and this is a test information. So the message you can see I can input A, B, C, D and the title you can input one, two, three, four, and you can see I can click the talk call service and now take attention to your my TV. And you can see here is the one, two, three, four and A B C D on the TV. And even if you have used the TV in any menu. Uh, I have used my TV in this window and I can click call service and you can see that will pop in the message and it will disappear uh, for some delay time. So this is successfully. Then you can create the automation. So you can go to the setting and we can go to the automation and things that I have created one click, two click, and three click for my ZigBee sensor. Actually, you can create your automation for any sensor. So you can see I can click one click. You can see here is the state and the one click that is from the Xiaomi ZigBee sensor. We have taken the video before that when we receive the message a single click. So we can call service and send the message, sound is incoming, and the mess title is the message. So this action will running around the one click. And this is two click, two click just to send another message. The function as seen as a one click. You can see the message and the message. And now you want to turn on and turn off the TV that will for three click. So you can edit and how to turn on and turn off the TV or control the TV for many functions. That also we use a call service. But this time the service name is remote send command. You can see here the home assistant for Sony TV command. We can see here that you can use your remote uh, by this service. That is remote send command. So here you can see we have called this service and the target is a Sony TV. And the command, uh, you can see TV power. Why I import the TV power? Because you can see the command list. That is number one, number two, number three. That's just a different key. And here is the power. Uh, just the remote power function. and. Uh, the volume up, volume down, that buttons all can send by yourself. So there are many functions have defined you can use. And this I just uh, control my TV power. So you just press the save and you can do this three different automation for your TV. And actually you can push the message for your child or for your children or for your older man so that will have a message uh, on the TV. Also the TV, you can send the message from the different source way, uh, from URL and from the image and for the test and from the icon. So you can create many different multimedia function and uh, send to your TV. And this is very interesting and useful. 
okay so this is how to use the tv and for the notification for your tv by the home assistant thanks for watching